Okay. We ready now? Yeah, we're okay. ready now. Um, so we encourage you here in the temperance team. Voila! This is what you get here. Uh -huh. um, to abstain from something that may be harmful to you. And to set a realistic goal. Okay. I mean, don't say that you never go to eat sugar ever again. You know what I'm okay. saying? That's yeah. not very realistic. So what is something that you can see yourself realistically abstaining from um, that's harmful to you? Well, personally, like it's something I already started abstaining from, but I can say that I want to commit to continue to. Okay. Uh, and that would be, I, I'm pretty good with using, temperately using most social media, mm -hmm. but I struggle with using Reddit temperately. What is Reddit? Reddit is like an online platform for communities to associate with each other. So if oh. you have like a community of, like there's a community for everything. There's a community of people who like stapling bread to trees. There's a community for of- For real? For, yeah, for real. Somebody Again. actually made that up? Yes. That's it's, the most ridiculous thing I've ever I know, heard all I day use today. it. I use it as an example because it's absurd. Wow. But it's an online platform for people who are passionate about different things to come together and talk to each other. And do they get together and meet up in groups and stuff? Some of them, I imagine. But the point is that like tens of thousands of people are sharing content related to the community, and then all those people upvoted or downvoted, and all the upvoted posts go to the top, so you see only the best of the best if you oh. sort it that way. So it's basically like 50,000 people who all love you know, raw vegan cooking, raw vegan food, and they all like share all this content and then it all gets upvoted or downvoted and you see the best of the best about that stuff. Kind of like Pinterest, kinda but like you Pinterest. don't join a specific community. You, you just kind of can click you, on stuff you Yeah, like. you can look. What you do is you subscribe to different subreddits uh -huh. and on your home screen it'll give you the top stuff, stuff yeah. from that. Mm -hmm. Or you can go to the, the community itself and explore the community. It's yes. real neat. So that sounds like something you could be on for several hours in for, a day. For, yes, a long time. And I, I've used it, I've misused it before, so I want to commit to not misusing it. I just removed it from my phone yeah. for now. But. So what would be a realistic goal for you as far as uh, tempering yourself? I, I, think, I think a realistic goal would be for me to uh, just not use it on my phone. Like if I ever want to go back to using it again, to use it exclusively on my computer. Okay. And because that's not as much of a temptation for me. Yeah. So I think that's you don't, realistic. you're not on your computer as Almost much as, as on your much, phone. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think that's a realistic goal. So what you would do is you would sign that paper there. I got a paper. I feel like that's what that is in your thing. And so we're gonna write it. And when you sign it, you're signing your life away. Signing my life away. I just want to let you know. So uh, be careful. So I'm committing to, to not abuse social media? Exactly. Okay. Uh, but see, we got to be more realistic. Because when you want, <laughs> see, you did ask real broad. Yeah. But when we set goals, okay. we want to narrow them down so specifically can... to whatever applies to us. Um, so, so commit to not installing Reddit on my phone. Okay. And, you know, until maybe such a time as it's not a temptation anymore. And so, how long do you think, do you foresee? A month, a two months, three months, six for, months? We can go for, go for a year and see how that goes. Okay. So, you are committing right. to not download That's credit a, on your phone uh -huh. for one year. You hear that, people? So I need you to understand that this is what he just said. What's your name? Michael. Michael Michael just said this. So y'all need to hold him accountable. Yeah. Because yeah. this is real. And he's signing his life away right now. So uh, this is serious. This is pretty deep. Do you have any other comments on temperance to share with the people? <sighs> when it comes to temperance, I think that it's all about the mind. And if your mind isn't healed, and you are not committed to the Lord, then whatever you are choosing to temperate yourself from is not going to last. All right. So my uh, closing thoughts would be to get Jesus in your life. Because you're really not going to, you know, I remember when I just didn't have a close relationship with the Lord, or why I wasn't, you know, I knew God, but I just, it was a struggle. Yeah. Um, you know, abstaining from things that were harmful to me. I would just always end up going back to them, like sugar, things 
you know, um, I never drank or smoked or anything like that really, but um, just eat, not eating healthy, not having good daily habits, not exercising, all these things were just a struggle to keep up with consistently. But when you really get a strong relationship and foundation with the Lord, that becomes your norm. So that's yeah. my uh, my advice to those who struggle with temperance yes. to really focus more so on your relationship with God than yes. you are on whatever it is you're trying to abstain from. And that's the principle the Bible teaches of overcoming evil with good. That's what I'm talking about. You go, Michael. You are serious. I see you got your whole Bible highlighted. So Michael reads his Bible. I just want to let all y'all know that. <laughs> and he's serious about God. So keep watching his channel and subscribe to the button below. You know, people always say that. So I'm just <laughs> thank encouraging Thank you, thank you. you. Okay.